Hello, welcome back. Um, so I was just trying to figure out this puzzle. There we go. No I gotta go down entry. here and fix it. And a skull and crossbones. That's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnet? Comrade Major, have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed <sighs> to mean? What the fuck? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. <laughs> I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Hey, comrade, wait, have you by any chance seen Oleg? Depends on who Oleg is. My partner. We worked here together. He kept saying these things would be the death of us. We even bet on who would be dismembered by magnets first. We got separated when everything went to shit, so I don't even know if I won. Okay, uh, I think he won. I think you won. You obviously got iced before he did. Really? Ooh. <laughs> Glad to hear that. All right, the first good news is I'm not listening to you. Yep. <clears throat> All right, whatever. I need to get back up. <clears throat> I can use this to get back up. Nope. Well, I'm supposed to fall down here eventually, but I don't think I was supposed to fall down there at that point in time. So I might just. up there for some reason. <laughs> Bruh. How the fuck am I able to get up? I mean, I can't get up there for some reason. That makes sense, right? the only thing that bruh let's go back in oh okay I see I very much see Freaks and their goddamn mustaches. Bro. Again. Go away. I don't have any health to. He deserved that. Ba 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 Yoink. Another door without a lock. Ugh. Where's the relay, Charles? I don't see anything on the walls. 
What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that well. it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. Okay. Well. I need healing. Really? Are you kidding me? Are you really? Bruh. 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 Are you kidding me? What? Stop rolling! I don't care! God damn! Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826. And by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, Comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 
to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. That body's moving. That body's really moving. can't send in the army. There are too many people. Somebody could leak intel to the enemy and then it's all over. But only reliable men could be sent to the facility, such as the Argentum unit loyal to Sechenov. They could team up with combat robots and restore order in the blink of an eye. But I don't need to tell you about that, do I? But that's, I mean, ugh, crispy critters. I don't get it. Why does it have to be so complicated? Because Dr. Sechenov can't deploy troops or combat robots without the authorization of the Politburo. On the contrary, he's doing everything he can to make sure the government doesn't know what happened. Why do you think that is? Because his enemies would take collective away from him? Now, when everything's built and ready to go, and any asshole with a badge could run it. Quite right. It's all done. Just fix the malfunction and press a button. Geniuses, creators, and engineers have already done their jobs. All that's left to do is enjoy the fruits of their labor. In other words, Comrade Molotov wants to put Dr. Sechenov in jail over what happened here so he can take over the facility himself? To be exact, he wants to lead Collective. But how can he? Everybody's going to be equal there. Some will be more equal than others. No, I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority in Collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Uh. Well. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's going to be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people oh, will way. connect to Collective via a neuroconnector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective, that's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. I never liked that guy. Crispy he's always complaining critters. about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. I mean, where do you want me to go? <laughs> Can I open the door now? No? Oh, there we go. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up? 
This place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Oh, I need... This needs to be here. This needs to be... Oh. I get it. Indirectly. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a soldier, comrade major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? What now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? Yeah, it's pretty shitty. Uh, yeah, that must feel pretty shitty. It's not about how it feels. It's about how I feel. And I'm pissed off. I'm full of rage. And I don't like it. I'm an even-tempered man. A peaceful man. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh well. Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. I'm stuck. You say anything different right now? Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? I killed you. Stabbing machine that killed me. It's a phase. There's nothing I can do for you. Healing, healing, healing. All your stuff is now mine. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's a square. Top left. Square, top left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. I come in! Oh, okay, the door opened the other way. Thank you. Hey, hey, good. Okay. Howdy. Fading data. So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Hmm. Leave me to remind you about the character that I'm about to because you are now it. Oh, wait. Cards damage. So you're about here. Oh, this one's way better. Sell my beautiful ex. Please cool. select the desired procedure. Da, 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 da. Beautiful ex, I am sorry, but you are being disassembled now.
crafty. Might as well. I just need to upgrade the pistol a bit. Yo, what's Please good? select the desired procedure. Now, upgrade ya baby. Maybe someday. Especially with an exit possible to fire the blade at the cutting part down, get a constructive run uh... Hmm. I like this one. Yep. Angle. Nope. I can add this. Let's add some more of this. And... Reflex. Okay, eventually. Not enough. Not enough. Try to upgrade the pistol. Muzzle. Car sheets. Magazine don't have that. Upgrade. 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 Nope. Oh. Alright. We are good. Can I upgrade you, Tagal? Yes, I can. No, I can't anymore. Okay. Alrighty. Let's take it back to what? Oh yeah. Wait. So, what will it be, Major? Weapon. I need to get some of this. Auto sort. Blank. Blank. Uh. Then I need to back up. Go closer. Back up. Go closer. Back up, go closer. Authorization. Major Nichayev, code. Boom up, boom up, boom up, boom up. How many I have? 77. Character. Close to Elemental damage. Your suit building medicate restores more health. Increase your backpack capacity. Yes. Need that a thousand percent. Alright, let's go. Hello, Missy. I am now ready for you. Proceed to the for how can can I so how can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The time can be, be uh, opened with my multi key error. Multi key not found. All Terish Koba models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. Have to go find your multi key. Lightning, the other one's ice. There we go. Nom nom nom. nom. Would never be that dumb. Dead bodies all over the place.
There we go. And there's Tereshkova's arm. What's that metal pervert doing with it? That is a robot waiter. Who's serving the people it killed? I'm gonna smash that fucking bot to bits. The robot isn't currently hostile. We should be able to retrieve the arm without a fight. Don't mind me, just taking all your stuff. on my ass. Pardon me. Da, 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 da. How does it work? Hold it up to my neurosensor contacts. Multi-key activated. Cool. I'm home. Now what? Oh, hey. Thank you for coming to my aid. Not having the key felt like I was missing a limb. One moment, please. Did we fix her or break her? The tree would I I don't give two wet farts. Oops. Much better. With your permission. I'd like to deliver a speech now. Greetings, comrades, and welcome to the all Soviet exhibition. Pipe down. Oh my god. What the fuck are you babbling on about? What speech? You're prancing past piles of dead bodies, and there's blood everywhere. My algorithms are glitching with horror, but my databases lack the verbal and visual tools required to express fear, horror, or other negative emotions. I was created to remain positive and optimistic, no matter what. The grotesque dissonance between my behavior and the gruesome surroundings grosses me out. But there's nothing I can do about it! Uh, I see. Okay, bot. Set the VDNH to drill mode. Drill mode? This would lead to even greater aggression from passive and physical security systems. It will endanger you, and may lead to death of the surviving people. Assuming there are still any left. Exactly. If there are any left, this place is a fucking graveyard. Now follow my damn order, bot. You have given me a most peculiar command. All people in this complex have been killed by robots. But you are unsuspicious. And how am I supposed to do that? Commit seppuku? You must pass the Darwin test. This will prove that you are a human. Uh-huh. What the fuck? What test? How about I just rip your head off, huh? Without her help, activating drill mode will take too much time. I Jesus gladly Christ. confirm this information. Fine, knock yourself out. Hit me with this damn Darwin test of yours. What am I supposed to do? Prove that you are human, Pioneer Nichayev. Put three items on this pedestal that represent the three main values of a Soviet citizen. Art, labor, and life. Crispy critters, now I gotta deal with another crazy-ass lock? Fuck, I'm a magnet for annoying bullshit. <laughs> Can 
why not? What would it mean hard labor? So, what will it be, Major? Weapons or ability? There's two and three. Nah. I need one more thing. Oh, wait, in here. Nope. So about this Darwin test. So about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Yeah. That labor thing has me stumped. A little help. All right. What tool is depicted on the flag of the Soviet Union? Oh, got it. I'll go look. Put something cheerful on, would you? It kind of feels like the end of the world right now. Radio of the future! Astonishing music generated by the state-of-the-art quantum supercomputer based on the preferences and tendencies of the modern performers. The theory of relativity claims these are the songs that the citizens of the future will be listening to. But the citizens of today are already listening to it. Doesn't that mean this is going to be the music of the past once we actually get there? And nobody's going to write it 30 years from now because it already exists. The music of the future could change every second. Well spotted. You have discovered a temporal paradox. How very observant you are. The music of the future shapes the music style in the present. However, the superposition of the observer and the information being mm. perceived are located within it's a behind that door. loop. In layman's terms, we are always listening to the music of the future and determining what it is going to be like at the same time. Oh, shit. If that's layman's terms, I'd hate to hear the complicated explanation. I'm getting a fucking headache here. It has to be in here, right? Ah, there we go. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about the Hurry up. There we go. Wait. Develop for what's going on there. Sure. I'd like to ask you about something else. <sighs> I'd like to ask you about something else. I am always at your service. Two. I have a few questions. Naturally, Major. I can tell you about all the Yep. What's going on? The What's on the Chelome floor? The first floor, Chelome, 
is dedicated to groundbreaking discoveries in the fields of robotics and innovative habitation complex construction, both in the air and underwater. What exhibits are there on the Pavlov floor? The second floor, Pavlov, is dedicated to autonomous neural systems. This exhibit is a triumph of Soviet biocybernetics and neurophysiology. Or the Vavilov floor. What's going on there? The third floor, Vavilov, is dedicated to progress in the fields of botany, genetics, and breeding of the very latest crop species. And five. Tell me about the Sahalin floor. The Sahalin exhibition on the fourth floor is dedicated to deep sea ecosystem exploration and the development of faunistic complexes in various areas of the world's oceans. Unfortunately, the Sahalin exhibition is currently in storage mode and is off limits to visit. Okay, enough. Later. Um. So, about this Darwin test. Yes, I am always happy to help, Major. Uh, just watch your fingers. I'd rather not have to look for that multi key again. The hammer, tool of working men, the sickle, peasant's friend, the many pointed star they praise and with their lives defend. <sighs> uh, here you go. Here you go. This is as alive as it gets around here. Hear the springs cheerful hymn. Be yourself. Strive and earn life. I love you and hope you love me in return. Gosh, shut your face, you dumbass toaster. <laughs> I'm sorry. All this chaos is causing my emotional algorithms to malfunction. Pioneer Nichayev, you passed the Darwin test with flying colors. Tell me, what do you want to be when you grow up? A cosmonaut. What a splendid career choice. I would. Well, I rather enjoy your attention, Major. Now, how can I help you? Do you have a memory leak or something? I need to announce a drill and put the VDNH into drill mode. Yep. Unfortunately, this is beyond my ability. Bruh. Are you yanking my fucking chain? But I can provide you with a solution. You see, a single robot cannot engage the military drill mode. Such procedure requires the presence of two robots instead of one so where do i find another obnoxious metal dipshit before that dreadful nightmare the information hall was staffed by the two of us but during the failure the berserking robots took my partner claire apart did they scatter her all over the complex or something precisely how did you know dear comrade Call it a hunch. Do I have to scour the entire VDNH for her parts? Plug the administrative control drive into me, so I can tell you where the pieces of poor Claire currently are. Well, that sure beats looking for him blind. So where's the administrative control drive? I'm running out of time. Please follow me. 